Hi, everyone. Um, the reading is from The Earth Healer by White Eagle. I believe James already read a lot of it, but I guess it bears re- repeating. So, chapter 9. A vision of the future when a seed is sown in Mother Earth. It does not shoot up instantly. It has to mature gradually. It has to penetrate the darkness of the soil. It has to appear above the soil and then reach up to the sunlight. And in due time, the glorious flower comes into bloom to give so much pleasure. Later on, when the flower has finished, then the fruit develops the fruit that nourishes. The night is passing, surely passing, and the day of joy is at hand. The earth planet, very dark at present, is slowly quickening in vibration. Take no notice of those who say the world will never become perfect, for they are wrong. The world is destined to become an etherealized planet, a planet of perfect light. And the life on that planet will become most beautiful. Now you are aiding in the creation of a brighter world. In the same way that thought affects action, so it affects physical matter, quickening its vibration so that eventually the whole earth will not only be beautiful to look at and to live upon, Humanity will assist in the raising of the earth planet itself, the darkness gradually being dissolved. We see the light bursting into the darkness. We see the light coming on earth, a beautiful flood of light and joy in your hearts and thankfulness. We see the light like a beautiful dawn in the very early morning, the dawning light We see it coming to earth, and we see the slow but sure passing of the night, the night of this winter. Remember our words. The night is passing. It will just fade with the coming sunrise. The end of the trials of the present day is in sight. Then, even as the glowing sunshine, which will enfold you all before very long, will bless the earth, so shall you all be caught up in the warmth and light and beauty of the spirit world, the spirit life. Humanity is ready. It is turning the scale. By its own desire for peace and goodwill, humanity is advancing, is evolving. Understand this, for life is eternal, continuously manifesting in physical form, manifesting, withdrawing, recreating. The time approaches when there will be no more self-seeking. There will be a working for the common good for all people to advance along the path of progress on their return journey to back to the Great Spirit. So do our best. We must do our best quietly, patiently, but never fail to concentrate on that glorious, universal, creative love. Never doubt the secret of life, which is the power of love, the wisdom of love. And after doing our best, rest in confidence, trusting that the Great Spirit has create, that has created the universe will continue to maintain it. The Attunement for Healing the Earth As we enter this time of communion, we reflect on our link with the earth and the world of nature, which nurtures us. We reflect on our link with the wider heavens and the higher worlds of spirit, which uplift us. We are linked with Mother Earth and Father Sky. We would come into the place of peace and balance in our own heart, the place of light, of creative light and love, the place of the spiritual sun. 
And so, in the name of Father, Mother, and Son, we pray that we may work in cooperation with the angels who are the inner life of our earth planet and who are its guardians. So, let us rise now into the heart of the star so that we may serve through the power of love. From the heart of the star, the Christ light flows to the world of nature and to humankind as they walk on Mother Earth and with her creatures. Being attuned with the Christ star, we now work with the angels of the elements, the angels of earth, of air, of water, and of fire. We work first with the great earth angels. We see the light of the Christ star shining into Mother Earth, healing her creatures, cleansing, restoring, balancing, renewing. We work with the great angels of water to bring peace and cleansing to the soul of the world. We work to assist the angels to heal all the waters of the earth, the streams, rivers, seas, oceans, and ice sheets of our planet to heal and to replenish. We work with the great angels of the air to inspire the minds and hearts of all people with wisdom and the understanding of the true meaning of brotherhood. We work to assist the angels to cleanse and balance the air element, the atmosphere of our planet. We feel ourselves now drawn upward into the light of the sun. We are in the sun, in God's heart. We work with the great angels of the sun and of the fire element. We are one with our Creator, Father God, one with our Divine Mother, one with Mother Earth. The Christ healing light shines into every particle of our beautiful planet Earth, healing it and touching the hearts and minds of all people, all animals, all creation. And finally, during these times of intense change, turbulence, and upheaval, as a dying old world order gives way to a more conscious and harmonious way of living that is centered in the true love, wisdom, and power of God, may we and our beloved Mother Earth weather every storm that may come, learn the lessons that they would teach us, help us as, as we can those less fortunate and in greater need, and stay ever steadfast and true to the God star above us and to the Christ light within us. Amen.